Attention, please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles, G. Pitchell. Follow us. Fantastic. Welcome back to Whittle, the program that takes a crowd and turns it into an individual, and they get some money. And here is the ten we're left with. Round of applause for them. Here they are. The ten remaining contestants have moved into two tiers of seats. Right, well, let's find out a bit more about all of you. Hidden talents. Diane. Um, I'm an ace netball player. You're an ace netball player. Right. Do you, and that's hidden, is it, from people? Well, uh, our results this season, you wouldn't think so, but I'm really very good. Ah, right, you're just keeping your talent under yeah. a bushel there. Right, yeah. OK. <laughs> Gavin. I make jewellery. Gavin, you sorry? Make jewellery, gold rings and stuff. Oh, right, and then you put them in your ears? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that, uh, what, as a, as a hobby? Yeah. Right. And, and would you like living. to do that as a full-time job? Oh, I do it as a living as well. Oh, you do, right. Mm. right. OK. Denise. Tumbling around. <laughs> That's a hidden talent. It is. Right. Trampolining. Trampolining. I teach oh, right. disabled adults how to trampoline. Right. I bet that's a bit up and down. It is. <laughs> right. Come on. <laughs> Marianne. A mean seven player. You're a mean seven player. Sevens. Yeah. Sevens is describe the sport to me. Uh, a pack of cards, getting them into the different houses. Right. That sounds like... Oh, right, how do you do that? Under cover of darkness, through the leather box? <laughs> <laughs> so you play in the evening. You play in the evening. Yes. Right. Do, how many people play in sevens? Two and above. Two and above. Mm. Right. That's the age group. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Marian. I enjoy cooking. You enjoy cooking. Right. And is that... That's a hidden talent, though, is it? Is that something that you... I don't do it too often. You don't? <laughs> right. Who, who would you cook for when you cook? Oh, anybody. Anybody at all? Yes. Right, who would you like to cook for? Um, we'll leave that one with you, Marion. <laughs> we'll come back to you on that. Deborah. I don't actually have any hidden talents, but by the time we finish this quiz show tonight, I'm sure I have talent for entering quiz shows. All <laughs> oh, right, so you're quite confident about getting that money? Well, no, not really. <laughs> not really? Oh, you're lying to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Michelle. I make my nieces laugh when they're upset and cry. Right. So all, they've always got a smile on their faces. Right, better than the other way around, anyway, isn't it? <laughs> right, so how do you make them laugh? Just tickle them and, you know, things in general. Things in general. Yeah, well, you just go, look, look at that anymore. window. Come on, cheer up. <laughs> <laughs> look at my foot. Smile. Paula. Um, I give good bed baths. <laughs> you give good bed baths? Yeah. <laughs> right. Do you, do you work in a, in a nursing home or something? Or? I'm a student nurse. You're a student? I thought you just going to leave it at student there. For a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a student. <laughs> a student yeah. nurse. Right. Do, and uh, you've had some good reports back. I enjoyed that bed bath, people yeah. said to you. Yes, they have, yeah. Do you, what sort of age group do you bath? Anyone. Oh, really? Any age. Right. Yeah. So we could make up a list then for after. <laughs> right, thank you. Tara. Dancer. Dancing. What sort of dancing? Um, ballet tap, Latin American. Mm, it's very hard to do that one. That's a bit of a mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you do that? Um, well, I don't do it anymore, but I used to do it at the Chatham Town Hall. Chatham Town Hall? <laughs> <laughs> God, the high life. <laughs> <laughs> do, what, do they have sort of uh, classes there and discos and yeah, what have my, you? Yeah, my dance school used, used to be there in the studio, so... Right, why did it close? Um, I've no idea. <laughs> it was years ago. <laughs> right, OK. Norman? Difficult jigsaws, like the Smarties, baked beans, that's what. Smarties and baked beans? Not together, you know. Uh, right. Well, Smarties and baked beans, well, I mean, a jigsaw that's entirely baked beans. Mm. I bet that's a right mess. <laughs> and do you... And well, you have to find the corner one first? Yeah, you build up from it. Once you've got your edge and then the hard work starts. You find the edge of the bean first <laughs> and you work inwards. Yeah. What great weekends you must have, Norman. <laughs> I didn't say weekends. <laughs> oh, right, all for the week, right. Well, those are our ten. We found out a bit more about them. Of course, they're fighting for that £250. Mmm. <laughs> And possibly £500. Did you say £5,000? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> and remember, you're also playing for £10 for every correct question. Every question you get right. OK, let's have a look at this first question, then. Which famous train used to run between London and Edinburgh? Start the clock. The Flying Scotsman. 
the Chattanooga Choo Choo, the Orient Express, or Stevenson's Rocket. OK, let's find out what you've all gone for there. All ten of you have gone for the Flying Scotsman. Is the Flying Scotsman correct? They've all got ten quid, they're all still in. Well done. <laughs> you know, I was on a high-speed train the other day. We went past a chicken farm and left 14 omelettes on the track. <laughs> Here's another question. Whoops. It, it should stay there, really, shouldn't it? Here we are. What does a Jewish boy have at the age of 13? <laughs> Start the clock. A wife... A driving licence, a bar mitzvah, or the right to vote. What does a Jewish boy have at the age of 13? What do you think there, Deborah? You're looking quite pensive. I'd say number three. You reckon mitzvah. number three, a bar mitzvah. Let's find out how everybody's voted. Once again, they've all stuck together. They've all said a bar mitzvah. Is that right? <laughs> yes, it is. Well done. So there's nothing between them at the moment, and they've all got £20 as well. Let's just find out. Gavin, how would you spend £20 if it stops here for you? Uh, buy a bit of gold, I suppose. Buy a bit of gold? <laughs> yeah. Right. Can you see £20 worth of gold? <laughs> yeah, it's about that big, yeah. It's a little speck. Right, OK. You know, when I was in love, I fell in love with a baby dog. It was puppy love. <laughs> Have a look at this picture. Alf Garnet. Here's the question. Alf Garnet appeared in a TV series whose title came from the marriage service. What was it? Start the clock. Was it Ashes to Ashes, Dearly Beloved, Rich Man, Poor Man, or Till Death Do Us Part? There's one or two people in the audience wishing they'd got back to the last ten here now. Have you all gone for the one I think you have? Let's have a look. Yes, once again, they've all gone for the same question. I think it is right. Is it Till Death Do Us Part? Another ten quid for them all. Goodness me. Incidentally, for those of you wondering about my jokes, who writes them, I can reveal it's a man called John Archer. A little round of applause for John Archer, who writes my jokes there. There we are. You know, when he writes them, he often stands over a kilometre away from me, cos I can see his jokes coming a mile off. <laughs> that was one of his. <laughs> so, a timed question now. We, we seem to have not been able to whittle the ten of you at all, so we're going to have to do a timed question for all of you. The fastest correct answer from you ten gets £250. So, and I can reveal, no one has been able to wear one of these, so I think I'll wear it. <coughs> Just briefly. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> it's quite hard to read the questions, actually, from here. <laughs> right, so on your buttons now. Here comes the question. According to the proverb, you should always look before you what? Start the clock. <laughs> Run, leap, dive or drink. Run, leap, dive, or drink. I'll just put that there. Right, how have you all voted there? Let's have a look. Look before you run, said one person. That was you, Gavin. It certainly was. Right, you've just had enough of the game, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out what the right answer is. It's leap. Nine people in. Round of applause there. <laughs> Gavin. I'm sorry, Gavin, but you must put your whittle mask on before we go any further. Just you at the moment. There we go. Can you get your earrings just to stick out the side? <laughs> yeah, like that, yeah. Right, so between the nine of you, who was the fastest? Well, Tara, Deborah, Paula, Denise and Marianne, you were the five quickest. So, the other four of you, which you'll have to work out for yourselves briefly there. Marion, you're one of them, I think. You'll have to put on your Whittle mask. Diane as well. And Norman and Michelle. Please put on your Whittle mask. You were not one of the five quickest. Let's have a look at these times. Tara Burt. 0.91 of a second. Tara, that's incredibly quick. That's that dancing training, isn't it? <laughs> Deborah Curtis. 1.4. Paula Blundell. Blundell. Blundled. 1.42. Denise Hunt. 0.89. Denise in the lead there. Very, very quick. So, and we want a big roar for whoever gets this money. Is anyone quicker than 0.89? Marianne, were you quicker? <laughs> no, Denise has got the money! Did you think at the beginning of this game that you would win it? No. 
Well, you have. You've got 250. Well, let's find out whether she can make it 500. Round of applause for Denise as she joins me! Denise comes down from the upper tier of seats and joins Tim. OK, before we start, let's just say, Deborah, Paula, Tara and Marianne, please put your whittle masks on. Now, I'm going to ask you to put four things into a correct order, Denise. If you get them in a correct order, you've got £500. Everyone in the audience is voting on this as well. If Denise gets it wrong, the people in the audience who get it right get that 250 split between them. Now, I can reveal that this question is about curries. Denise, do you have many curries? <laughs> I do, but I don't know what they're called. I just right, go well, for anything. Right, you go for anything. Any curry fans in the audience? <laughs> yeah, well, you'll feel that one now, don't you? Right, let's bring the lights down and have a look at this question. Put the following curries in order of strength, starting with the mildest. You'll have 15 seconds to try and work this out, Denise. Are you ready? Yep. OK, start the clock. Chicken vindaloo, chicken fowl, chicken korma, and chicken madras. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Help. OK, Denise, you have to tell me the numbers now. Three. Three. Have three, to three. 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 Four. Three, two, four. one. Three, four, two, one. That's what she thinks there. Let's have a look at that up on the screen there. Chicken korma, chicken madras, chicken fowl, chicken vindaloo. OK. Have we got chicken korma, first of all? We have. Give her a round of applause. She's got chicken korma. Chicken madras. Chicken madras, yes, chicken madras. <laughs> we want chicken fowl now. Chicken fowl for 500. Oh, oh, it's been the loo. Oh, and then it was chicken fowl. But give her a round of applause. She's got 250. Well done, Denise. Do I just turn around this way? Well, 250, that can't be bad for a night's work. Now, how many people in the audience got that right? Most of you said you weren't curry fans, but 15 of you did get that right, and you get £16.67 each. A round of applause for the curry people here. <laughs> well done. Denise, any thoughts about how you would spend that £250? Well, I'm going away next weekend, so I'm just going to have a really good weekend. Right, where are you going? Blackpool. Blackpool? <laughs> <laughs> you can get a lot for £250 <laughs> in Blackpool. Right. You can go on the roller coaster and uh, get one stick of rock. Well, I'm not having an Indian. Oh, you're not? <laughs> no, not after that. Well, that's it. Thanks very much. See you next time on Whittle. Bye. The end.